How's it been going so far? Uh, pretty good. I, I've given one win away. Given a win away, you say? Oh, no, 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 he earned it, he earned it. So somebody has beaten the master at yeah, least once yeah. today. I'm at New York Comic Con, and I decided to check out the Yu-Gi-Oh! booth. They've got all kinds of cool Yu-Gi-Oh! attractions. They've got demos for Duel Links and Master Duel, a token booth, a game shop, and even the chance to duel the master for really cool prizes. So we're going to take a look around, see what there is to see, and hopefully get one of those duels in and maybe win a cool prize. Drop a like, subscribe, it's time to duel. Awesome, I will definitely take one. I get to be Yugi for the day, basically. How does this look? How do I look? A little lower? Like this? That'll work. It'll do? Yeah, that'll it's fine? Work. Okay, that works. I'm Yugi for the day now. I'm gonna wear this the whole time. One of the cool parts about this exhibit, just already, is the giant Dia Bellstar installation. But more importantly, is they've got this cool display with a bunch of new and some unreleased Yu-Gi-Oh! products. The Quarter Century Bonanza comes out November 8th. Speed Duel Battle City Finals, which comes out on the 22nd. I didn't even know about this, actually. Would love to make a video on that. Crossover Breakers in December. Supreme Darkness, Blue Eyes, White Destiny, the upcoming structure deck. Maze of the Master. I think that we're getting some Odeon based stuff in there. And some Jaden and Ubel accessories. Do you think Konami would care if I just like smashed the glass right now and just kind of like took it, you know what I mean? They've got demos for both Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So lots of people trying us out over here. And also Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. If you take the demo and complete it, you get a token and then you can exchange your token for prizes over at the prize booth. All right, so this is a new character, actually. This is the Go Rush protagonist, I believe. Udias Velgear. I think it's one of my first times actually playing Rush Duel on Duel Links. These tablets are great for this, too. They're, they're really big. All right, so he's going first. One of the things about Rush Duel is that you do get an unlimited amount of normal summons per turn, which might seem a little crazy, but you know. I can just summon this out to the field. Yeah, this gives my monster piercing, and it lets it change a monster's battle position. That's awesome, I will try it out. Sure, why not? So Meteor Charge, I pick my monster. I can also change a monster's battle position. We'll use it on this one, and attack. And that actually does 1,500. Um, normally I'd be able to summon a bunch of monsters, and next turn I will draw until I have five cards. Oh gosh, okay, he's summoning more stuff. He killed my guy, oh goodness, this is bad. Galactica Oblivion. This must be his ace monster. Oh wow, look at that. Got a little summon animation going here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna activate my skill. So I've got a skill that lets me set one of my cards from my deck, and that is a win. Thank you for playing the demo version. Get the complete experience in the full version. So I do play, um, I got into it when I was a kid, but pretty much like everybody else, I watched the anime and stuff. Um, I, I was loved it. I played, I had like the uh, the water structure deck, the. Uh, the, uh, the the Daedalus structure deck yeah. with like the, the the broken summoning condition and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I is... saw you were just getting a token made. Yes. Um, which one did you get? Did you get a certain character? Or just... uh, no, just uh, blank background, just me and my girlfriend together. I played a lot of Salaman Great. Um, mm -hmm. Right now I'm playing Mimigul, or I'm trying and failing to play Mimigul. That's a pretty fun deck though. Um, it is, uh, but apparently Konami hates us because they released Impulse in the same set as the new support. Um, yeah, that makes it a little which, harder. Which, um, I'm very much like a budget player. I've never played like the most expensive, most broken deck in the room. I, that's probably, it's, it's probably better that way. Yeah. So this is the token booth. Take a picture in front of the green screen and they will turn it into your very own token card that will cut out and print for you. You get to pick which character you have your picture taken beside. I'm just gonna take this off for this one. All right, so I just got my Zane Truesdale token. So now I'm at the demo section. Potential new players of all different ages, backgrounds, learning how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I think that they're playing with the two-player starter deck, and um, they're being helped along by an array of Konami judges. So I ran into Seto Kaiba himself at the Yu-Gi-Oh booth. I have to ask, who's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh character? I'm just, I can't really tell. 
I'm a big fan of Joey Wheeler. Okay, and Fans yeah. will never tell, but off camera, Swedish Joe. So I was one of those players, a Yugi Boomer, that grew up with it on the playground in fifth grade. And yes. I've been with the game ever since. Same, very As a relatable. player, an anime fan. So seeing events like this, where we can connect duelists to duelists, as fans of the anime, as fans of the show, as fans of the game, there's nothing better than that. So I'm a big Light Sworn fan, my personal deck. But dressing like this, you have to have a couple blue eyes on you. So now, I'm at the Duel the Master booth. If you're new to Yu-Gi-Oh, you could try out demos or learn how to play or maybe just get a token made. But if you actually brought your own deck to the event, then you can try Duel the Master. And it's a little tricky because they are going to be using some very powerful decks and they even get to pick whether or not they go first or second, which is insane and makes it really hard. Some of the eagle-eyed among you might know that I did a video similar to this about two years ago and I dueled against Asala. At the time, he was playing a branded deck. This time, I don't know what he's playing, but it's probably something new and equally very good. I lost that time, but maybe we can get our revenge on this go around. I brought two different decks to use. I'm torn between Vanquished Soul and Voiceless Voice. I'm not sure what I'll use until I sit down, so we'll see. Wish me luck. I'm facing a familiar face in Asawa. He beat me last time, so I guess you get to pick who goes first. I'll be allowing you to go first. Awesome. In exchange for my kindness, I would like you to give me a card every time you summon from hand. Oh, God. Okay, Mulchami Perulia. Mm -hmm. So each time I summon from hand, normal or special, Yes. you get to draw. If you, if you set, I don't draw anything. So if you feel like setting and passing, I'm okay with that. I'll, I'll consider it. Yeah. Safira, Dragon Queen of the Voiceless Voice. I send her from hand to grave, and I get to send a ritual spell to graveyard, and mm -hmm. then add a ritual monster. Okay. Send prayers of the Voiceless Voice to my grave, and to my hand I'll get my boss monster, Skull Guardian, Protector of the Voiceless Voice. I'll activate pre-preparation of rites. The ritual spell I'm going to get is my prayers, and the ritual monster is Cerevis, the Ancient and Ascended. Activate the effect of Sephira in my graveyard. By banishing her, I get to do a ritual summon, tribute, Low, the prayers of the voice's voice from my hand as the yeah. entire tribute to summon my Skull Guardian. As Chain Link 1, I'm going to use Skull Guardian's effect to search mm -hmm. for a, another voiceless voice card or a ritual monster. That's Warrior or Dragon. Yeah. So and then Low, because I summoned a ritual monster, can summon itself from the graveyard. Uh, to that, it's not going to get much value any later, so I'm just going to chain the infinite permits now. Ooh. I'll activate my Cerevis in yeah. my hand. Since that makes these sense. targets, I can negate it by discarding this. And then my chain will resolve with low getting special summoned. And Skull Guardian will search one card. I'll get this Cerevis to my hand. Okay. I'll place Barrier. And I'll use Barrier's effect to search one more Voiceless Voice card. Okay. I'll get Radiance of the Voiceless Voice to my hand. Set one card face down. And I'll use Cerevis in my hand. I'm going to summon it by shuffling back these two cards. Okay. I, and that will end my turn. I will start by activating Terraform. Field spell to hand, right? Yeah, any field spell. Feel free to come back online. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'll use my Ash Blossom. Enjoy a spring right, to negate the search effect. It's a little tricky now. Activate right deck. Ooh. I feel like you're just going to okay. negate. I'll use Skull Guardian's effect to negate Raigeki. That is fine. Normal summon Genroku. I contribute it to special summon a Tenpai Dragon for my deck. Like a little yeah. fire blossom. One game. That's fine. You can always come back online though and play again. Then I will enter the battle phase. After you're saying in Okay, so that adds one and can also special summon one? Yeah, because I'm in the battle phase. Okay, I will... Use my Cerevis in response. All right. Okay. So I'll return it to my hand to summon a ritual monster that's going to get returned back to my hand at the end of the next turn. Okay. It'll be this Cerevis. Sounds good. I'll grab the Chandra and special summon the Chandra. Got it. Then I will use Genroku's effect to special summon from deck. I'll grab Hydra. Hydra's effect will set a. Ten pie spell trap, or sorry, so sang itself trap. Set the sang itself. I will declare an attack with the Chandra. Then I will go ahead and grab Ten Pie Dragon Fodder. So now I take no damage. Every monsters can't be destroyed. Yeah. Battle. I will attack for fun. 
So that's two attacks. Attack for fun. Yeah. Chain link one to sync for summon, chain link two to sync for summon. Okay. Into Biden Dragon. Okay. Uh, on summon. The reason to do that is because the last thing to happen is the other one failing to sync or something. Summon. So, so that way I can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Labyrinth to special. He played around my Cerevis, is what he's saying. Declare an attack with Quadra. Use its effect. Uh, special. Again, yeah, rookie. Then uh, still in the battle phase. Chain link one. Yeah, chain link two. Okay. okay. Send in Dragon. Attack over the Sorox. Uh, okay, so he's 3,000 and yeah. I am destroyed. Uh, effect, because three attacks have been de uh, declared. Uh, I can special summon him back and then destroy his spell trap. The barrier. Unfortunate. I will attack over the low. Uh, use its effect to sync or summon, or use it, uh, any effect to sync or summon. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go with... Uh, Into Trident okay. Dragon. Ooh, okay. Trident Dragon's uh, effect like will destroy can't link one the... Can't link two I'll destroy these then two. Then okay. So that's two extra again. attacks this turn? Yeah, and doubles attack, so it's 6,000 three attacks. Uh, yeah. And then because three attacks have been declared, no. I can special summon it and destroy a card. I will destroy that. Yeah. Got it. And then attack, attack, attack. Oh my gosh. That's... Dude, this deck just came out in Master Duel, and I was like, oh, I've done pretty well against Tenpai. And then you show up, and it's just like, yeah, awesome. Good game. Okay, so right now I'm in line for the prize booth. I've got three tokens that I've gotten from doing demos and such. They seem to have some prizes like a Switch, a Steam Deck, a Plush Rescue Rabbit. All right, I've got my coins. So how does coin exchange work? You're gonna hit the button? Okay, blue eyes, toon dragon pin, exodia pin, okay, and oh, blue eyes pin, okay. My reward for all of my hard work, two blue eyes pins and exodia. They could just give me a steam deck, Jesus. We just got here, and the first place we came to was here. Makes sense. Yeah. Good, good taste. Yeah, I do currently play. Uh, like everyone else, I got to Yu-Gi-Oh! Growing up as a kid, I watched it. Mm -hmm. uh, I really was into it when Six Samurai came out. Oh. And then I retired and stopped for a bit. Because, you know, just life, work, and, you know, Things happen. You got to have money for Yu-Gi-Oh! You do. And then, <laughs> and then I got back into it recently because Five Feet's got new support. Uh -huh. um, so we came to sign up. But the guy said we could also come here and duel a little bit. Yeah. And then we're going to go downstairs and sign up for the tournament. So you're going to do this duel the master back here, right? Yeah. Okay. Listen, Get man. Good, good luck. <laughs> it's, it's rough stuff. They destroyed me mm -hmm. earlier. And I wish you the best. <laughs> yeah, I was telling my friend, they probably have like Dominus Emperor, all yeah. the new hand traps. So. Ten Pie and some, some yeah. really strong decks. We'll see. Awesome. But thank you for talking to no me. No problem. I cool really appreciate you, right? your time. Okay, so I'm at. The game shop, Grandpa's real game shop. What do you have for sale? Uh, we have the exclusive game mat for Comic Con. Okay, what's that like? With Cyber Dragon. Awesome. Oh, limiter removal in the background. Yeah. Okay. And just a bunch of packs and stuff. We have packs for sale. We have last four years tens, legendary decks. Oh, Dark Magician Girl. It's signed by her? Is she that still here? Signed, uh, I think she left today. Oh, okay. Two of the Zane mat, if that's possible. That is very possible. Right? Anything? I'll have five Rage of the Abyss packs. Oh, oh, he watches the podcast. He gave me a uh, Pot of Greed. Awesome. Check out the podcast, by the way. Pot of Greed, second channel, APS Amplifier every Thursday. So I got five packs, Rage the Abyss, and a couple mats. Let's go open them up. Okay, so I'm now at the organized play area, a little bit quieter and calmer down here. And I've got some packs of Rage of the Abyss, as well as some of the uh, pins that I won for my prizing. Could have been a Steam Deck, but alas. And I'm gonna open them on my Zane Truesdale mat. I should also take this time to mention I got an extra Zane Truesdale mat. So I'm going to be giving this away to one of you guys at home. All you gotta do is leave a comment down below with um, your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh experience that you've ever had. It could be at a YCS, a regional, a locals, a booth like this. But more importantly, we've got packs to open. These are Rage of the Abyss. Basically, there's a lot of cool cards in here, but the number one thing that somebody might want to pull is a Mulcharmy Fulos, maybe a Dominus Impulse. I'll take anything. Uh, okay, so I got Chaos Allure Queen. 
tactical trainer of the Six Samurai, Armored Shark, Summer Schoolwork Successful, and Super Rare, The Hollowed as Amina. Pack number two. Yeah, Never Ending Nightmare Absorber, Primite Howl, another The Hollowed as Amina. Are they rigging these packs? Two of the same super. Pack number three. Ant-Man, Performage Ball Balancer, and a super rare Heo Varga, he Heo Savrog, the Mechanical Dawn. Woo! So midway checkpoint, uh, sort of not great pull so far. Two of the same super. Come on, Konami, give me a good card here. Pack number four. Let's see. We got Insect Invitation. Max Metal Morph, Goblin Biker Grand Crisis, Reincarnation Unveiling Male, ooh, okay, and Ultra Rare, Red Eyes, Black Full Metal Dragon. I actually needed one of these for a theme duel we're working on, so this is pretty good. All right, final card. Battle Wasp, Mimigul. I met someone earlier today who's actually building Mimigul. Supply Soldier, Azamina Determination, and incoming machine, super rare. Okay, all right, so all in all, not too bad. We did get an ultra rare Red Eyes Black Full Metal Dragon, so I can't complain too much. It's kind of how it goes. You bought five packs, you get an ultra. We're actually at the Yu-Gi-Oh! kind of just organized play area, and so I wanted to ask you, um, what are you playing in today? Um, I was playing in the regionals for uh, this year at New York Comic Con, and mm. it was a lot of fun. I lost. What deck are you playing? I'm playing a BCO Blue Eyes White Dragon. Bestial Blue Eyes White Dragon. So I'm guessing you're excited about the new structure deck. Yes, then. I am. Uh, that yes. cannot get here any sooner. The way I got into Yu-Gi-Oh was like everybody was the anime back in uh, the day, and you know I used to play the card game. Kind of grew out of it over the years, and then Master Duel came out uh, a couple of years ago. Yes. And you know, a couple of friends told me, it's like, hey, you gotta try the game, you know? So I'm like, all right, cool, I'll give it a try. And it just like hooked me back in. Mm -hmm. And from there, it kind of like encouraged me to try to play the physical card game again. Yep. And like I was saying, like your channel is one of the channels that really got me up to speed back into you. Uh, where the modern game is. Yeah, awesome. Because it changes so fast. It does. Notice. Game moves very fast, but it's fun. And yeah, Master no, Duel is like easily one of the best ways to like get back into it. It was a bit of a rush, but hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing everything that there is to offer here. This video wasn't actually sponsored by Konami. I just did it myself because it's fun and I like Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And also let me know down below in the comments, what is your Yu-Gi-Oh story or best Yu-Gi-Oh experience? And you'll have a chance to win your very own Zane Truesdale playmat. I'll see you guys in the next one. Fast turn.